Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. Today I am going to discuss about service portal CSS for a theme. Okay, like uh, in the last section we discussed about a theme. Okay, uh, now we are going to discuss about uh, CSS style sheets. Okay, how we can create a customized CSS and uh, how we can add CSS to the theme or uh, uh, let's see. Okay. So log into your instance. So in the last section, we created some theme and uh, service portal. Uh, let's see what is that one, okay? So let's duplicate it and uh, let's open uh, service portal. Our service portal is NP, that is a uh, names portal, okay? So this is the uh, service portal we created and uh, this is the theme uh, we have added. Okay, let's open the themes, okay? Um, So our theme is um, NP orange theme. Okay, this is our uh, NP orange theme. Okay, so uh, now uh, we are going to add a CSS include. Uh, okay, customized uh, style sheets we, uh, we are going to add now. So why we will add these things? What is the purpose of uh, CSS? So what it will impact on your portal? Okay, uh, how it will impact on your portal. Okay, so let's see. So let me open. So uh, our topic is CSS. So CSS is a uh, style sheet language expressing the presentations of the online content. Okay, so it syntax consists of a, you know, a selector. Okay, a selector and a declaration. Okay declaration declaration okay so these two are important okay so if we uh the purpose this is like css is like uh, we can use uh, multiple times also okay if you uh, if you create one time and you can use in multiple themes and multiple uh, places whatever it is okay so the syntax, it will be like, um, for example, uh, uh, element sector. You should know about element sector, okay? Um, element sector, this HTML element sector. We call this a sector, it's an element, okay, sector. So, uh, for example, H2, okay, or H3. This is a heading line, okay, heading line, okay. This is an element sector, and color is an um, a declaration. We are doing some declaration, okay. Color is uh, blue or green or anything, okay. So, uh, this part, okay. So this is an element sector, okay? And uh, you can write uh, as many as, okay? As many as by colon, giving colon, semicolon, okay? Test um, decoration, okay? Test decoration is uh, colon and none, okay? Or something like that, if you have anything you can add. So this is the syntax of, uh, you know, CSS, okay? So this H2 uh, is an element sector, okay? And this one is a uh, declaration. And inside the declaration, this is a uh, property and this is a uh, value, okay? This is a property and this is value, okay? So the only one thing uh, you need to remember while creating the CSS is uh, you are using this correct um, um, element sector okay this element sector okay uh, not element selector okay uh, sorry selector okay element this element selector okay you should know it so we have different different element sector so let um, uh, if i click on uh, inspect so it depends upon you know uh, the style sheets you have. So you see dot list group item, okay. So this is an element sector. Li this is an element sector. The body, okay, and root. Uh, so these are all element sectors we have, okay. So when you hover on this one, so this is also an element sector, okay. So so that that uh, element sector you need to determine, okay, when you um, when you are writing the CSS. So this is very very important, okay. So there are some uh, uh, 
uh, you know, uh, there are some uh, website, okay, which available on the docs.servicenow.com, okay, that you just um, go this, okay. Um, you have a, a service portal, SSC, SS Premier, okay. So in this, you have uh, uh, SCS variables you have, okay. So you can uh, declare these SCS variables in a uh, 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 in a CSS style sheet. Also, this is a uh, one uh, one of the reference from the doc docservicenow.com. Okay, you can use this one uh, and create. Um, uh, uh, whatever you want. So these are the functions like adjust color, scale color, okay, uh, like a string insert, okay, and percentage. Uh, so these are all the functions. So when you need it, actually, so you will get to know this one, okay. Okay, so but on this topic, so we can learn in a slowly upcoming uh, sections, but now it is a very uh, heavy for for us. Okay, at this situation, okay, this is uh, like a third or fourth section. Okay, so it, is, it will be heavy for us so to learn all these things, but a simple uh, CSS uh, we can learn. Okay. Uh, and also uh, you can learn the uh, HTML part from uh, get a bootstrap.com okay uh, from this also you can learn the html code all these things okay containers styles so grid options all these things okay so these two will be very uh, helpful for you while creating some css um, themes or uh, anything okay um, so that's important for you. Okay. Um, uh, let's create uh, some uh, style sheets. Okay. So for creating some style sheets. Okay. Um, and the theme also you can add those uh, style sheets also. Uh, the same thing we will use in the CSS variable. Uh, okay. Uh, but the thing is why we will create. Uh, 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 different style sheets and uh, how to include because uh, if we want to use the same uh, style sheets okay for the all of the portals available in your instance okay uh, for example we have a NP we have a service portal we have employee center so you want to use some of the um, wordings or fonts or coloring okay in the same every every everything is same for all the portals then uh, um, uh, we cannot attach the same theme to the portals okay because for service um, for service portal there is a one theme uh, employee center there is one theme okay we can only attach a theme to the service portal only one okay one theme we can attach but not multiple uh, themes so but the CSS style sheets so can be uh, assigned to the theme okay uh, any number of themes and it can be applied to any portals also okay uh, multiple uh, CSS styles can be applied to one theme and uh, same can be used to uh, um, uh, the other themes also. Okay, so let's create some uh, style sheets. Okay, so style sheets uh, under service portal, you have a CSS. Okay, go to the CSS. So here you can create a style sheets. Okay, so if you have some uh, hard code copy, so you can create it. Okay, or um, uh, or you can click on um, if you have anything you can just uh, name it and uh, copy the copy and paste the code okay uh, so the important uh, the important information here is um, style sheets are loaded okay uh, after the code okay in the css variable okay uh, in the css variable field in a theme record execute okay so you remember okay so these will execute first and then the style sheets will execute okay so let's uh, um so let's create some style sheet so why we will create some style sheet okay so you see these headers okay so this uh, i want to change to uh, you know uh, different color like um, yellow or orange or anything okay so let's see how we will change okay so um, uh, header color, H E D R header color, okay header color, okay. So um, uh, it's like uh, H1 or H2, okay. Anything, okay. So uh, anything. So you can add multiple, uh, you know, selector also here, okay. H1, H2, okay, and add color, okay, color and uh, colon, colon, what color? Uh, like um, orange. 
R-A-N-G, orange, okay, and close it. So this property, you can add it, okay, you can, you can add it H1, H2, okay, so and save it, and save it. Okay, so if you, when you save it, okay, uh, when you save it and refresh your portal, okay, so it it, it, it is not impacted, okay, so now uh, go to the theme and now you need to add uh, uh, that CSS uh, style sheet, okay, to the CSS include, so from here you can include it, okay, so click on new, uh, new and just name it like a header, H-E-A-D-E-R header, color, Okay, so in the source you can have a style sheets or URL also. So URL we will uh, see in few minutes. Okay, or how we will add the URL, how we need to apply the URL to the theme. Okay, so mm, select a style sheet. So our style sheet is header color. Okay, and submit it. Submit it. So uh, let's go back here. Okay, let's go back. Uh, so this theme, and you can see this uh, added. Okay, this is added. Okay, so now refresh your uh, portal. Okay, refresh your portal. So you now you see the orange. Okay, now you see the orange. Okay. Uh, you can see the orange, okay? So dark orange or yellow orange or something, okay? You can apply it, okay? So if I um, uh, if I want to apply uh, same uh, theme, okay, same header color to my service portal, SP, okay? So how do I do that one? Okay, so how do I do that one? So go to the um, favorites, okay, portals, okay? Go to portals, um, go to service portal, service portal, okay? So it's um, La Loyola is using, okay? So the theme is using like this one, okay? So open this theme, okay? So open this theme and uh, just add the um, uh, colors, okay? Uh, like uh, uh, click on new, uh, new, uh, let's uh, apply header, Add something, okay. Style sheet, header color, and uh, submit it, okay. Submit it, and now that's uh, just refresh this one, and then um, it will uh, reapply, okay. So simple. So you can use multiple times the same CSS in uh, uh, multiple themes also, okay. So that's uh, let's close this uh, service portal, okay, and uh, yeah. In the same way, if I want to apply, um, if I want to change the test link colors here, okay, the same way. So how I will go, let's close this one, let's close this one, okay. So let's um, create like a link color, okay, link color, okay. So link color also, I want to change. A link is like, this is important, this you should know, okay. Uh, H1, H2, and A, A means like link, okay. So color is like um, uh, maybe blue, um, we'll say like uh, blue so has the links, okay. So uh, let's insert and stay, insert and stay, go to the theme, go to the theme and uh, create a new um, header like a link, okay, link color, mm, link color, okay, and um, uh, open this one link color and submit it, submit it. So now uh, go back, go back to the theme. Okay, and now refresh this one, and so you will see all the all are blue. Okay, now the links everywhere wherever there is a link. Okay, so like that, if you hover on this one, okay, what uh, color it should see if you click on this one? Uh, what are the border colors? Okay, so uh, all these things you can set up. Okay, all these things you can set up using the uh, style sheets. Okay, so now um, we will use the URL based style sheets. Okay, so uh in the NP, okay so the our goal is like i want to change the um you know change the uh, format fonts okay so i want to add some fonts okay so um you can create a new new and font okay font so i don't have any style sheets for the fonts okay so i can get the url easily from the um font okay uh, fonts uh, dot google dot com okay so here uh, i will select whatever the font i want okay so for example i want uh, um, let's uh, select some um, uh, different font like this okay okay 
and uh, get font so you can do this embedded code okay so here you need to copy the uh, href okay copy this one this is the url okay this is the url so in the url place you need to add that url and uh, submit it submit it once you submit okay in the theme part you need to add um, you need to add the code here okay the code here so this one okay copy this one copy this one and in the theme css variable this you need to add to apply the theme okay so here this is not our uh, selector okay element selector our selector is h1 h2 okay h2 okay so then just save it save it so now you see the theme okay this uh, font okay let refresh now so the font is changed now so now the font is changed that's simple okay so that's how the url uh, style sheets will work okay so that's how uh, uh, url uh, style sheets will work and so if you have any um, uh, you know javascript uh, also in the style sheets you can add it okay so if i go here and there is css include and create uh, okay sorry uh, go back and um, uh, in the um, uh, JSS includes, okay, you can add uh, uh, if you have any scripts, uh, okay, so you can create it. So default on this topic, we will learn slowly in the deeper classes, okay, not now, okay. So this will be heavy topic for you, okay. So that is all uh, about, um, you know, theme uh, and uh, style sheets, like customized style sheets, you can add land, you can add custom font, okay, like that you can add uh, you some scripts also, UI scripts also, you can add it, okay, so which we are going to land uh, in the future soon, okay. So, um, so that uh, uh, that uh, that is uh, the what um, for this section. Okay, so in upcoming classes we will uh, uh, see some uh, uh, like uh, creating some uh, pages. Okay, uh, creating some pages. Okay, so if I click on request something, it opens some page. Okay, so how we will create all these things? Okay, so we will see in the upcoming section. Okay, don't miss it. Okay, thank you. Please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos. Hope you will enjoy and learn service now. Thank you very much for your time.